Good afternoon, sir. Okay, all of you can able to see this. Good afternoon, sir. Screen is properly visible. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. From uh, yesterday, we have started with the new point. Uh, that was the business process integration, uh, and uh, integration or the integration of the information system. Yesterday, we have seen. uh some of the points related with the business process integration okay uh just quickly recap and then we see the remaining part okay yesterday already we have discussed uh when we see the information system from the starting that is the traditional information system up to the current uh, currently available information systems so traditional information system all of you know there was no utilization of the computer etc software hardware okay but there is a uh, if you see the component of the traditional information system only the people data and the various kind of procedure where the people apply the procedures on the data and try to create the information so there was a lot of limitation regarding the utilization of the traditional information system it was the time consuming uh the kind of result that we are required that was not getting because of the uh, limitations of the traditional information system these points number of times we have studied now there comes after that the uh, based on the need of the industries and based uh, because of the huge revolution in the industries there was a need of some kind of uh, what we can say automated kind of information system and that automated kind of information system were become possible only because of some automated device that were get invented at that time and that one of that automated device is nothing but our computer system okay so when the computer comes into the picture get invented then up, after that the modern information systems uh, comes into the picture now number already we know the what exactly mean by the modern information system it mainly consists of the utilization of the computers and the hardware software etc etc now if you see the modern information system also in the modern information system also there is the various uh, what we can say the there is a, a phases in the modern information system or we can say uh, revolution in the modern information system also revolution in the sense the initial period information system uh then the middle period modern information system and the the currently available modern information systems okay now points that yesterday we have discussed that was nothing but the uh, if you see the initial period kind of modern information system okay now yesterday we have discussed what why actually the there is a need of what integration of the business process okay why there is a need of the integration of business process that point yesterday we have discussed now we can uh, you can utilize the word process okay you can take the meaning of the word process and the what we can say the functional department as a same okay process you can also call the process as a different uh, functions being performed by the various functional department within a industry or the any business now if i ask you the question why there is a necessity of the integration of business process or why there is a necessity of uh, integration of business function that is the my question from the points uh, that yesterday we have discussed why there is a need of integration of business process or why there is a need of the integration of business functional uh, departments yes all of you got the question yes why there is a need of the integration of business process or why there is a need of the integration of business function departments 
or we can also say why there is a need of the integration of various uh, business units of the business cooperation yes ah uh, yes hello yes carry on <clears throat> for what purpose yes why shall we why there is a need of the business process integration or business function integration can ah uh, yes time save karne sathi Uh, who is this tejas tejas is this ah yes, oh, yes yes carry on tejas to so save time you okay then yes what are the another reasons cooperation and coordination exactly cooperation and the coordination then mainly the communication purpose better communication yes or no yes sir now tell me what do you mean by the integration then integration of functional department means what multiple function link with each other functional yes multiple functions or the multiple फंक्शन लुम्मी इतना प्रोसेस मंटल तरी चले ओके सो मल्टीपल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिंक द मल्टीपल फंक्शन और द मल्टीपल बिजनेस प्रोसेस टू ईच अदर सो दैट दे कैन शेयर द इन्फॉर्मेशन बिट्वीन देम इजीली दैट इज दैट लिंकिंग और दैट ओके वॉट यू कैन से कंबाइनिंग ऑल दीज डिपार्टमेंट्स और द बिजनेस प्रोसेस टूगेदर इज नथिंग बट द कॉल्ड एज अ इंटीग्रेशन ओके नाव दैट दैट मच यू अंडरस्टूड वाई इट इज रिक्वाड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा now in the initial period what i am trying to tell you in the initial period yes there was a utilization of the computer system and on the computer system there was utilization of the information system but in the initial period this kind of information system were not capable for the purpose of integration that is the point i am trying to tell you what in the initial period that information system which were available they were not having the capability of what integration capability you are getting what i am what i am telling yes yes hello yes sir what i am telling in the in the initial period computerized information system were there but they that computerized information system were not having the capability of integration because what i am trying to tell you yes computer were invented first and then the modern information system comes into the picture when computer computer cha invention jhalo tyach veles network cha invention jhalo ka tyach veles internet cha invention jhalo ka that is my question no no and that is the reason i am saying the initial period modern information system were lacking the capability of integration now if you want to do the integration of business process we need the network yes or no all of you are agree yes sir yes sir yes, we need the network we need the internet these kind of things we require understood and this integration actually comes into the picture when such kind of resources were get available during the middle period and now current period understood the kind of kind of capable softwares we are requiring kind of capable hardwares we are requiring for the implementation of information system with the capability of integration that capable resources were not available during the initial period okay like i said the internet facility network facility kind of uh, 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 what we can say capable uh, information system that things were not available during the initial period yes computerized information system were there but that computerized information system were lacking the this particular integration capability okay 
so integration capability started during the middle period and nowadays currently period information system all having the capability of integration okay now after that also we have discussed the business models and what exactly is the centralized business what exactly is the decentralized business and what what is the importance of business process integration in case of the decentralized business this point also yesterday we have discussed now my question is what what is the importance of business process integration in case of the decentralized business okay all of you got the question what i am asking what is the importance of integration of information system or business process integration or you can simply say what is the importance of integration in the information system for decentralized business model that is my question yes they just understood the question yes sir okay what is the ha uh, yes why the integration is most beneficial for the decentralized business models yes sana ansari yes sir. why the integration of information system is most beneficial for decentralized business models yes vaishali so tancha madhe communication uh, easily hota yes now first tell me why we move from the centralized business to the decentralized business first you need to understand this point why we move from the centralized business to decentralized business yes what was the reason yes tejas what was the reason why we move from the centralized to decentralized we in the sense why the industry is moves from the centralized business model to the decentralized i hope you have got the meaning of centralized and the decentralized yes benefit ha uh, yes yes priyanka devre yogesh kharat speak up why the businesses move from the centralized business model to the decentralized business model yesterday already i told you yes karim ansari okay you need to speak up right right or wrong will be somewhere business vadavnyasathi business vadavnyasathi okay then another you can't hear proper updation and communication proper updation and communication centralized means which operating in, in a single unit and okay. decentralized means which operate in different unit exactly who is this gade gayatri exactly let me tell you this concept once again with the example now some of students having the difficulty here suppose all of you know the maruti suzuki company yes all of you know yes sir maruti suzuki yes. company headquarter is where okay you must be not knowing this maruti maruti suzuki headquarter main business unit is in the delhi okay main headquarter is where in the delhi now if you can you tell me is the maruti suzuki company is only in the delhi now working in the delhi now only no no, no. there are the multiple units of this business unit in the nashik is there pune mumbai rajasthan 
Bangalore, wherever you can see in different states of our country, there are the business units of the Maruti Suzuki. Yes or no? Yes. Correct. Sir. So this, if you consider this only the unit, this single unit only in the Delhi, then this is considered as a centralized. But if the Maruti Suzuki is having the multiple business units, I hope you are getting the meaning of business unit. Business unit means what? Maruti Suzuki company chase dusre plant. Correct. Getting? Yes, sir. So, yes, Maruti, sir. if the Maruti Suzuki company is having their different plants in the different cities, then we can say Maruti Suzuki is having the decentralized business model. Got the point now? Yes, sir. Okay, but what yesterday we have discussed now? What is the <clears throat> what is the advantage of decentralized business model? Yesterday we have discussed. You can utilize the local labor. <clears throat> you can utilize the local raw material, etc., etc. But what was the disadvantage of the decentralized model yesterday? I told you. What was the disadvantage of the uh, decentralized business model? There is a no link, no, no communication. Link. No. Understood. Means for that purpose, if you utilize the information system, initial information system that upon use kili, तर हे advantage upon remove करू शक्तो का? नहीं करू शक्ना. We need what? Middle period or the current period information system, which is having the capability of what integration. If the information system have the capability of in, uh, integration, then we can connect these different plants or business units of Maruti Suzuki company, which were located in the different cities. I hope now concept is clear. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Yes, sir. So, for the in the decentralized business model, also there is a very much importance of the integration of information system, so that we can avoid that particular one of the drawback of the decentralized business. That drawback was what there was no proper communication between these different business units. But if you connect these different business units with the help of some integrated information system. Then we can remove that drawback also, and we can get the great and good benefit of good benefit from that particular company profit. Okay, and <clears throat> that is the reason the integration of business process or integration of uh, we can say business units or integration of functional departments is very much important. And if you want to do that, there is a need of the. modern information system or the currently available information system or the middle period information system okay now <clears throat> as we have discussed number of points related to this now when we integrate the organ when we do the integration okay when we do the integration uh, of some business process or the functional department or the business units now it it the particular organization look likes it is acting as a one cohesive unit cohesive unit in the sense what cohesive unit in the sense combinedly it when you integrate the different functional department or the business process or the business units with the help of the information system then it look like that all of are aware of what others are doing if you implement integrated information system within a single company also okay within a single company also in the single single company also there are the multiple department are used to be there like production purchase uh, sales finance etc etc in in the single company also if you combine these if you link these different functional department together then each of these department will know what other department are doing what is the update from the other department what are the needs of the other department so that is the reason here i have used the word integration enable the organization or integration enable the businesses to work as a cohesive unit cohesive unit cohesive is the opposite of the word isolation cohesive is the opposite of the word isolation what do you mean by the isolation yes what is the meaning of isolation isolation means what yes isolation 
can't hear you anybody else what do you mean by the separate isolate? separate exactly जर आप इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन सीस्टीम यूज के लिए नहीं तो आप सगे डिपार्टमेंट कंबाइन करू शकू का इफ यू डोंट यूज डोंट यूज द इंटीग्रेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन सीस्टीम वी कैनॉट यूज ऑल द डिपार्टमेंट इन द लिंक मैनर अंडरस्टूड बट इफ यू यूटिलाइज द इंटीग्रेशन इफ यू यूटिलाइज द इंटीग्रेशन टेक्निक where the all the departments are linked with each other combined together then it look like that all are working combinedly not all are working as a isolated manner but all are working as a combinedly all are working as a cohesive units understood now let me take here the example suppose consider in the company there are the four departments production per production purchase sales and the finance department okay now production department you can see production there is a direct relationship between this production department and the purchase department okay now production department is doing the activity of producing manufacturing something so they are going to require what some raw materials understood they are going to require what some raw materials understood and production department always can keep watch on the purchase department what kind of material or what kind of raw material is order by the purchase department as well as purchase department can always being in the uh, what we can say always be in the reach of the production department or purchase department always can ask to the production department what are their needs what are the raw material they are going to require in the future so this kind of communication this kind of communication becomes very easy because of the integrated information system because of the linking of the various departments together okay now in the similar way purchase department just like i told you purchase department and the production department are having link uh, relationship with each other in the similar way sales department and the finance department are also having the close relationship with each other what can be it sales department and the finance department uh, relation how they can be uh, related with each other sales department and the finance department yes or you can say the sales department and the Uh, sorry purchase department and the finance department also why there is a sharing of communication or sharing of information is very much required or must between these kind of departments because you can see the if the purchase department want to purchase something the purchase department want to purchase something they they need to they need to send this kind of instruction or they need to send this kind of information to the which department finance department yes or no because if you, if they want to purchase something they should contact to the finance department and if these things are linked with each other if these departments are linked with each other such kind of information can be easily share between this kind of department understood now also you can have the relationship between the sales department and the production department Now, what kind of relation here, sales department and the production department? Yes. Department, uh, client could only have requirement as sale. Only such a thing. Ah, ah so yes. Production means sales. So here you can see whatever the require, whatever the orders will come to the sales department. That order will automatically get get forwarded to which department? Production department. Yes or no? correct sales department can always check what is the speed of the production of the production department you are getting is this is this is this tracking possible sales department can always have the track on the production department 
how much is the speed of their production yes or no yes sir and based on that is it possible for the sales department to tell their customer that you will get your order deliver within a this number of days is it possible yes is it possible can sales department tell to their customers that their delivery will happen within the next week in the after the 15 days after the one month this kind of commitment can be given by the sales department yes or no सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट अस प्रॉमिस करू शकेल का कस्टमरला कि तुमची ऑर्डर दह दिवस मध्य पंद्रह दिवस मध्य यस और नो यस हाउ इट बिकम पॉसिबल बिकॉज सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट इज लिंक विद द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट इज हैविंग द नॉलेज ऑफ व्हाट इज द स्पीड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट कैन टेल दियर कस्टमर्स within how many days your order will be get deliver by observing the production schedule of the production department in the similar way finance department can also manage the cash flow according to the schedule of the purchase department am i right yes what do you mean by this finance department can plan the cash flow what is the meaning of this statement finance department can plan the cash flow means what cash flow manje kay already i told you what do you mean by the cash flow yes what is the meaning of cash flow कैश फ्लो मे यस व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कैश फ्लो करीम शिंदे मंजूषा कैश फ्लो मे मैं संगित तुम्हारा Hmm. What do you mean by the cash flow? Kharat Yogesh. Money transformation. Money transaction. That is nothing but the. I already told you the two types of the cash flow also: cash inflow and the cash outflow. Cash inflow means what? The the amount which comes within a company. cash outflow the amount which goes out of the company or you can take the meaning like money which comes within a company as a cash inflow money which goes out of the company as a cash outflow so you can see here the finance department can plan their cash flow after studying the purchase schedule ki purchase department cha schedule kay ki purchase department la kadi kay kay goshti purchase karaychat accordingly finance department tancha money management karu shakta ki nahi sanga mala Yes. Yes. And when this will become possible? Only when these all the departments are combinedly working. These all the departments are integrated with each other in the sense these all the departments are linked with each other. Then and then only this kind of quick sharing of information become possible. and this kind of fast service can be uh, provided so simply that what i have discussed here ki purchase department is always having the uh, knowledge of production schedule and accordingly purchase department can purchase department can give the order of purchase of the raw material accordingly finance department can manage the money for the purchase department accordingly the sales department can give the promise to their customer when their product will get deliver etc etc 
so that is the main benefit of having the integrated information system clear yes sir and in the today's competitive environment in the today's competitive world if any business want to survive the very much need is of that their integration of information system is very much required just having the information system but working in the isolated manner is it the requirement yes or no 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 requirement is what there may be that system must be in, in the in that information system must be working in the integrated manner not in the isolated manner then and then only we can take the competitive advantage over the another business and we can give the great service good service to your customer okay so based on the points that we have discussed up till we can say the success of any business organization depends on the availability of the timely information correct information and this timely information and the correct information can only get only if the integrated information system is available because if the information if the information system is the integrated then the information can reach to the manager within a less amount of time the analysis can be done by the manager within a less amount of time and because of that the quick decision can be made by the manager but for all these thing to be happen the integrated system is the must and because of that all the organization have recognized that if they want to succeed the most important thing is nothing but the efficient and the effective coordination of these all the kind of information and data and if this efficient and the effective coordination and cooperation is required integrated information system is the only solution okay now as i told you initial uh, initial period modern information system were lacking in the integration the main thing was there was a unavailability of the internet facility unavailability of the network facility was there but the time when these all the resources get available during the middle period and the currently in the current period information systems are now available in the with the function of integration and it is possible to connect the different business units with the help of the integrated information system through the utilization of the network resources and also within a single company also it is become possible because of the networking facility that all the functional departments can be integrated together where the single information system is being installed on the particular uh, server okay now so now as i as we are discussing we want such kind of information system which is having the capability of what integration and then after that particular in the middle period there comes the most popular kind of integrated information system and name of that kind of information system generally referred as a erp what was that information system with the capability of integrate with the capability of integration the name of that kind of information system was what erp erp stands for what enterprise resource planning enterprise resource planning and main characteristic of this information system is what it is having the capability it is being builded or it is being created with the aim of integrating all the data located at various sites or it is having the capability of integrating the all the information located at the various site it is having the capability of integrating all the information located in the various department together understood and so this is the our uh, next part of the study that is the in details about the erp system so erp develop the system which would integrate the computerized planning execution which share the database single entry of the data is being possible single entry of the data in the sense even if the data entry is done in the uh, one particular functional departments this kind of data is being this kind of data can be accessed by the all the available department why this is become possible because erp is having the capability of sharing the data with all the available department because erp is having the capability of 
integration of all these departments together and because of that shared database can be get utilized when the information system working in the isolated manner is the shared database can be utilized that is my question if the information system is working in the isolated manner is the shared database can become possible or can you utilize no. or can you utilize the shared database when the information system working in the isolated manner is it possible no no so if you want to utilize the shared database we need the integrated information system and the erp system is having all these kind of facility and that is the reason erp is called as the first and foremost most important integrated information system okay that in detail we see what what are the other things related with the erp here just you have to keep in mind in, in order to have the uh, in order to utilize the uh, particular benefits of integrated information system first example of that kind of information system was what erp system enterprise resource planning system and erp has been proved itself as one particular major for the planning of different kind of major resources of the organization in the current period now which are the major resources that can be easily planned that can be easily managed that can be easily coordinated with the help of these integrated information system is nothing but these resources main material money and the machine the 4m what 4 m now in the today's world there is a very much requirement of managing these four major resource what main main in the sense employees yes material in the sense raw material etc money financial things and the machine the equipments that are utilized in the businesses so erp is having the capability of managing all these major resources like the main material money and the machine because erp is having the capability of integration erp is having the capability of connecting all these departments together with the help of the network resources okay so and you can see here the last point erp ensure the effective overall integration of enterprises for the efficient utilization of the resources of the organization irrespective irrespective of the location this is important yes what is the example of in, what is the example of most popular most popular uh, integrated information system what is the example of most popular integrated information system yes all of you can hear me yes sir what is the example of first and most important integrated information system erp erp that is we are discussing okay why it is called the most popular and first because it is having the capability uh, here i have mentioned it is having the capability of integration of enterprise for efficient utilization of the resources so main thing that is become possible because of the integration is nothing but effic efficient efficient utilization of the resources means what if some if if in the if some business units are having some equipments which are not being currently they are required now this kind of information can be easily updated within a erp and this kind of information can be easily reached to the other business units where there might be the need of that equipments and for that purpose that equipment can be utilized understood Bec this is possible because of what erp has connection with the all other business units erp can manage the connection with all other business uh, functional departments or the business process etc etc and the last point i have mentioned here that is the erp ensure the effective overall integration of the enterprise for the efficient 
for the efficient utilization of the resources of the organization irrespective of their location this is important what do you mean by irrespective of their locations yes erp manage the efficient utilization of resources of the organization irrespective of their location just tell me the meaning of this statement all of you can see this statement yes sir ha ah, now tell me the what does it mean hmm erp manage the efficient utilization of the resource of the organization what are the resources of the organization just i told you four main resources of the any organization are which material main, money machines main material money and the money machines, machines. correct ना आता हा रिसोर्सेस इफेक्टिव युटिलाइजेशन ईआरपी मु कस हो कैन यू गिव मी द एक्साम्पल आता इत मेन वॉट आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इ रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देअर लोकेशन लेट मी टेल यू द एक्साम्पल टू क्लियर दिस स्टेटमेंट ना ऑल ऑफ यू आर हैविंग द नॉलेज ऑफ देर इज अ कंपनी इन फी infosys okay now infosys company is having their different business units in the different cities correct now if you see for example bombay mumbai pune then uh, bangalore then uh, you can see the surat or uh, then delhi now if they are utilizing the erp system which is nothing but the most powerful and first integrated information system so these all the units are connected with the main branch of the infi yes yes, yes sir now suppose in the bombay there is a huge orders of the softwares okay there is huge orders of the softwares but in the pune there are the some employee who are currently not having work it can be happen or not yes yes sir is it possible to hand over this work from the bombay to the employee who are working in the pune yes sir how this become possible because of because of what this become possible yes how the this branch will know there there are the lot of work at the bombay branch and then we can we can manage this in the pune branch how this pune branch will know integration yes because in the main branch they are having their erp system correct everybody is connected to the main branch through the erp system so everything what everybody is doing is getting updated here all of you are getting yes, sir and that is the reason here i have written the erp manage the efficient utilization of the resource ata employee hai resource ahet ki nahi ha employee main main manje employee as a resource so that is why i have written here erp manage efficient utilization of the resource of the organization irrespective of their location mag irrespective of their location manje kay
आता इथं बघा ना बॉम्बेच वर्क कुठला कुठला एम्प्लॉय करू शकतोय जो पुण्याला आहे मल्टीपल लोकेशन कुठल्याही दॅट इज दर कुठल्याही लोकेशनला जरी तुमचे हे रिसोर्सेस असतील कुठले मेन मटेरियल मनी मशीन तर त्याचं इफिशियंट युटिलायझेशन कशाच्या आधारे केलं जाऊ शकतं ईआरपीच्या आधारे यु आर ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट दिस पॉइंट येस सर ई रेस्पेक्टिव्ह ऑफ देअर लोकेशन म्हणजे काय की कुठल्याही लोकेशनला हे रिसोर्सेस जरी असतील तरी त्या रिसोर्सेसच बेटर युटिलायझेशन जर तुम्हाला करायचं असेल तर तिथं काय पाहिजे दॅट देर इज देअर मस्ट बी हॅव्हिंग द युटिलायझेशन ऑफ द ईआरपी सिस्टीम ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट दिस पॉइंट Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so from tomorrow we will see uh, details on the uh, ERP system, their characteristic, various definition of the ERP system, functions, uh, then limitation, advantage, disadvantage that we will carry on in the next lecture. Okay. All of you got the whatever today we have discussed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, sir.